Environmental Awareness and Protection Education We have the Air Pollution Awareness and Prevention We have stationary sources of pollutants We have factories, crematorium, incinerians, power plants, garbage dumps, and construction sites These emit particulates, nitrates, sulfur oxides, and ammonia they contribute 88% of the total airborne sulfur oxides and 68% of nitrogen oxides. Accumulation in the atmosphere of gases from industrial solvents such as nitrous oxides and carbon tetrachloride and carbon dioxide from burning of fossil fuels and deforestation have possible effects on climate change and human health. Anthropogenic source of air pollution have been increasing vehicles that fly the road of Metro Manila are smoke filters. Among the different air pollutants are the criteria pollutants such as ozone, carbon monoxide, lead, sulfur oxides, nitrogen oxides, and particulates determine air quality standards. Ozone is the major ingredient in smog. In the stratosphere, it occurs naturally and acts as a filtry mechanism for the harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. But in the lower atmosphere, comprise what mainly we see as gray smog suspended on air. Ozone is formed by a series of complex reactions involving nitrogen oxides, volatile organic compounds, and sunlight. Smog or ground-level ozone may cause lung inflammation, decrease ability to breathe, and susceptibility to respiratory diseases such as pneumonia, bronchitis, fibrosis, and premature lung aging. Children are susceptible to ozone exposure. Carbon monoxide is a toxic, odorless, colorless gas produced during fossil fuel or a biomass burning. Carbon monoxide exposure can block oxygen to the brain and cause poor concentration, fatigue, and death. Lead is one of the most toxic substances. Lead and gasoline remain by far the single largest source of lead exposure in urban areas and possess the greatest threat to the public. A special hazard for young children, several studies have shown that lead exposures can significantly reduce the IQ of school age children. It has also been associated with aggressive behavior, delinquency, and attention disease in boys between 7 to 11 years of age. In adults, lead exposure has been related to increased blood pressure and hypertension. In a six-month study in 1992, lead thus reached an average of 3.3 micrograms per cubic meter, controlling the high lead pollution levels in our ambient air should thus be given stop priority. Sulfur oxides are gases formed by combustion industries and electric power plants account for 88% of sulfur dioxide emissions, totaling 88,458 tons in 1990, causing bronchitis, impairment of preliminary functions. There are also active ingredients in the formation of acid rain. Nitrogen oxides are gases produced from high temperature combustion in the air. It can cause respiratory illness like asthma and irritation. They are also an active ingredient in the formation of smog. Particulates, or the so-called SOTs, are mini microscopic particles suspended in the air. They range in size from 10 to less than 2.5 microns in diameter. One micron is roughly equivalent to 1 is to 
सेवेंटी इन वीड The concentration of Metro Manila are five times higher than the World Health Organization air quality guidelines. Particulates of the coarse and fine varieties are so small that they can enter the deepest region of the lungs, where they can enter the bloodstream or become trapped in the lung tissue. Continuous exposure to particulate can induce wheezing, chest pain, cowing, and pain as well as more severe diseases like pneumonia, bronchitis, asthma, emphysema, and cardiovascular diseases. Air pollution is the, is the presence of substances in the air in amounts harmful to humans, animals, or plants. The main categories of pollutants are particulates, are very fine solids, Collectively, referred to as total suspended particles or the TSP. Carbon monoxide and oxides of nitrogen and sulfur. Volatile organic compounds or the BOCs and ozone. These substances are associated mostly with fossil fuel burning. Particulates are unburned hydrocarbons and soot or carbon. They result from incomplete burning of fuels, so does carbon monoxide, or the BOCs are benzene and other aromatics that are formed from the production of gasoline in order to improve its performance as fuel for vehicles. Ozone is formed from the reaction of BOCs and nitrogen oxides. Oxides of sulfur are released because sulfur is naturally found in petroleum in coal. Oxides of nitrogen are released as the high temperature of combustion catalyst reaction between the nitrogen in the fuel and the oxygen of the air. We have sources of air pollution. The first one is the mobile sources and the second one is the stationary sources. Mobile sources is a million vehicles are registered in the whole country around 80% used gasoline and 30% used diesel, only a small percentage of Filipinos own cars, 20% in Metro Manila, the rest take public transportation. Stationary sources that account for most of the air pollution are emissions from power plants, cement plants, and oil refineries. Effects of air pollution from fossil fuels Sulfur and nitrogen oxides, particulate matter and soot irritate the mucous membranes of the respiratory system. If irritation is prolonged, it can lead to respiratory disease. Persons tend to cough, emphysema, asthma, and other allergies, and worse, e cancer. Carbon monoxide is the hazardous because it bonds strongly with hemoglobin of the blood, replacing oxygen. As a result, the tissues and organs of the body are deprived of the vital gas oxygen. Ozone causes a range of acute effects including eyes, nose, and throat irritation. It also impairs respiratory functions. Ozone is a highly oxidizing gas that causes damage to materials, so the sulfuric and nitric acid from sulfur and nitrogen oxide respectively. Benzene, the most toxic BOC is highly linked to leukemia. It is also an agent in ozone formation, another byproduct of combustion of carbonaceous fuels is carbon dioxide. It does not directly harm people or other organisms. It is thus not a pollutant in the usual sense of the word. However, too much of it in the atmosphere destroys ecological balance. Increased temperatures will negatively affect agriculture, ecology of microorganisms, and thus incidence of diseases. The Philippines is a signatory to the United Nations Convention on Climate Change and has ratified the CAI-2 protocol under the letter also the 
countries are committed to exert all efforts to lower their greenhouse gas emissions. The protocol invokes a special commitment from the legal countries to reduce their emissions to 5% less than their 99 levels between 2008 and 2012. The protocol will go into effect when it is ratified by 55 countries, which should include the developed countries responsible for 45% of the emissions worldwide. And another class of substance that must be related is what is collectively known as the chlorofluorocarbons or the CFCs. CFCs are unreactive for matrices, styrofoam, and insulation. A group of substances are common in our everyday lives but are extremely toxic are known as persistent organic pollutants or the POPs. These are either human-made substances or products of combustion or other processes undergone by human-made products. Radioactivity is the most lethal form of pollution because it can readily destroy cells and tissues. No more nuclear radiation should be introduced into our environment in addition to that which natural gas in the background environment. Radioactive emissions come from nuclear power plants even in routine operations. We have the Clean Clay Act. Principle which state the overall mandate of the state recognition of rights of its end, which the state shall guarantee. The noteworthy features of the air quality management systems are the provisions regarding air shields, non attainment areas. The Act gives an initial list of hazardous air pollutants and guidelines for an ambient air quality. Number 5. Prohibition and Regulation of Other Substances A. Ozone depleting substances consistent which is Montreal Protocol of which the Philippines is a signatory or the ODA shall be phased out. Fluorinated greenhouse gases identified in Kyoto Protocol to the United Nations Framework on Climate Change. Framework Convention on Climate Change, the DNR shall prepare a plan to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Persistent Organic Pollutants, the DNR shall prepare an inventory of POPs in the country and a program for elimination of these substances. Radioactive Substances, the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute, DNR and related agencies shall regulate all projects that involves release of radioactive substances. Pollution from smoking. Smoking in any enclosed public space, including public vehicles and private spaces outside of one's residence, is strictly prohibited. This provision shall be implemented by the LTU. Lidded gasoline. The manufacture, information, sale, disposal of lidded gasoline and engines and Components requiring needed gasoline is prohibited.